We welcome in Charlie Silitano to the show, of course, famous in the soccer community in the US and beyond. Also a presenter on Sirius XM FC alongside Neil Barnett and Ray Hudson. Now these three have come together to launch a podcast named The Hat Trick. The first one drops tomorrow and they are starting in some style. An exclusive interview with Real Madrid's Gareth Bale. Here's a clip of it, Bale talking about that flag. But after that, uh, that, that one game, uh, when the banner came out, Gareth, how much did you know about it? The one that said Wales Golf Madrid, uh, in that order. It was hysterical, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you had to have a good sense of humour, which a lot of the Spanish uh, lads at uh, um, Real Madrid did not. But it all got glossed over. They did not. I did, <laughs> or did it. No. <laughs> No, I obviously I'd, I'd seen the banner the boys had showed me. I think a few weeks before, or <laughs> whenever it was from pictures online and stuff, and we're just yeah. joking around, and and a few of them were just saying after the game, if we do qualify, let's try and find it and bring it out. I was like, oh, do what you want, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't be good enough to get it. But yeah, obviously they <laughs> they it and brought it down, and um, we were all celebrating as a team, and and like I've said before, like I'm not gonna not jump around with my teammates. Oh, yeah. it, was it was a bit of banter, it was a bit of fun. Um, people can, can see it how they like, but uh, sure. we were just celebrating on the pitch as a country to qualify and um, just having a laugh. It was, it was just one of those things. Charlie, what a way to start off your podcast series. Yeah, no, we were quite pleased. Thanks, Dan. First of all, thanks for having me here today. Uh, it was... Uh, Extraordinary, really was. The human element, if you will, the human being, Gareth Bale, came out. That's what really came out in the interview. And I was, you know, over the years, you get to know so many different people and, and you know, you have these personal conversations with them, with them and you hope it comes out during one of these pa podcasts. And it certainly did in this case, and it certainly does. We have other podcasts with Lothar Mateus, Carlines Rubinega, Gennaro Gen Gattuso, uh, Marco Materazzi tells us about the headbutt and the reason uh, he felt insulted. Uh, it's extraordinary. It's, it's great stuff. We hear it from people like Patrick Clivert talking about the young American kid in, in the Barcelona camp. So there's a lot of fun things in these podcasts. Uh, let's focus on, on the Gareth Bale interview in the first podcast. What else struck you from speaking to him? struck me how much a manager matters, really. That, to me, was the most uh, interesting part of it, that it matters for the player's development uh, and whether or not he even becomes a professional. He talks so much about how his only goal was to make it at Southampton, to make it to the first team. And it was extraordinary when he got called up for the first time. Um, he, you know, he said he couldn't believe it. And his, his sights are, 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 are very realistic in the uh, and I think in some ways he's overachieved what he really started out to achieve. He's become one of the one of the biggest players on the planet, and he's uh, he's demonstrated, you know, in the big moments, very few people come through as much as Gareth Bale does. Do you think he minds the reputation that he has in Spain? Yeah, I had a sense that he was uh, disappointed is the best way to say it in the fans' reaction. You know, you talk about, uh, especially the English fans, they usually support the, the team, the players, uh, even in difficult times. Uh, but, you know, at, at the Bernabeu, as we know, and I've been there when they've booed Cristiano Ronaldo, they've booed Iker Casillas. You know, it, it's, it's just a matter of, uh, I guess it's a rite of passage in some way. But I think he's, he, he put a little finer point on it. What he really said is, I don't think it helps and not sure why people do it. And um, he seemed a little bit almost, you know, confused as to why a fan would do that. Do you think he's going to stay? What, what, did you, what was your gist from the conversation? Do you think he'll stay in Madrid? I think he likes Madrid. I think he, he likes the idea of being at the biggest club in the world. It's certainly one of the biggest clubs in the world. I think he's been a player that... Uh, he, he feels he still has more to prove, I think, to the fans and the manager. That's the sense that I got. I do think he misses a little bit of being sort of the, uh, I guess, the straw that stirs the drink. 
you know, the main guy on the team. I think that's something he misses, and maybe his next adventure he'll 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 try to do that again. I think he seemed happiest when he was at Spurs. At least that's the impression I got, and I, that's more because I think his players and the managers relied on him. Uh, and the same thing with Wales. And I think he he really thrives off of that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.